Uh, I think we've got time for a couple of donations, Nick. Okay. Um, Star Lord sixty nine writes, "Let's kick Dracula's ass. Dracula invented cancer." Uh, this donation goes towards killing the animals. Hey everybody, wow. I'm Samuel K for <laughs> Symphony of the Night, played by me, Samuel K. Nick is here. Nick's my friend. Uh, Big Boy Ladybug writes, Hey, I wish I could kiss Dracula on the mouth. His lips look real soft. Hmm, interesting. Huh. I, is that a Konami thing? I don't get that. Uh, I think it's a reference to, um, Garugamesh. Garugamesh! 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 Hey everybody, welcome! It's time for me to play some of this Let's let's Play Drac Dracula's Souls. Wow, check it out, Dracula Souls. Oh, hold on a second, this is way too loud, Nick. I can't hear a thing, but yeah, that's we, fine. Yeah, we determined that last time. I just need to just lower the volume just to scotch. Okay, that's better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is some good media. Uh-oh, is this the mirror fight? I already did it. Oh, you already did that. Yeah, that was last week. Um, but yeah, uh, this is, uh, this is more Symphony of the Night, because I want to play more of it, because I really liked it last time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went out and I bought a new controller, Nick, because remember I was having trouble with my controller? That's right. I bought a new controller. I'm now using an Xbox One controller instead of an Xbox Holy. 360 controller. Holy moly. Tell me about it, man. Uh, it's, wow. It, I've noticed it is heavier. You're in the 2010s now. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great, man. Ooh, I'm happy for you. Oh, he only does one damage? Why am I scared of these guys? Because they used to do more. At what point did they do more? When you were at a lower level. Oh, really? Yeah. I just ran into these guys. Well, I think you beat the mirror boss a little earlier oh. than you were supposed to, so they, they, they're they very weak now. So I'm... Whoa! What are you? Ah, shit! I'm cursed! He's a cursed boy, baby. What does that do? It makes it so you can't attack. How long does it last? Forever? Uh, just don't get hit again. Okay. Goes away after a while, but you just gotta avoid this guy. Here you go. There, I leveled up again. Leveled up! What do you think of that? The oh, extra shit! Oh, so much shit! No! <laughs> Garugamesh! What if there was just a lesion of souls and they only said Garugamesh? And they just came out of the ground. And they all said what their favorite thing about Japanese culture is in front of a guy who works at a sushi restaurant. And, uh, and he goes, let's go! And then they all go to the anime convention together. I, I, I like that commercial because everyone that's really excited about the convention is just a fucking pale-ass white person. Hold on, can I just point out, okay, I could tell that book was going to come out, so I decided to hit it. Mm -hmm. why, does, why does the book explode like it's a fucking jet going down? It's the magic, it's blowing up. Like, is that supposed to be really funny? Like, is it supposed to be a joke? I don't joke? know. There's a, there's a lot of Castlevania enemies that just blow up when you kill them. Am I? Oh, hey, Shane. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, hey, Arthur. Hey, Kyle. I think I got everybody. Hey, Eric. Welcome. If I stand mm -hmm. in this, does something bad happen? It just hurts you. Oof. I just wanted to see what it does. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, you can crouch and attack in this game. I know, but I can't. I don't think I could attack that. I think it was too short. Yeah. You gotta crouch. Look. Oh yeah, I guess the weapon you have isn't good. There you go. I I think uh, you could probably get another weapon maybe at some point. I I forget. I think right now I'm using the uh, the gladius. Gladius. Oh yeah, yeah. You can get like a whip or something. And probably hit it. That's what's good about the whip in these games. Is they're they're not the strongest weapons, but they have the most range, so they're nice. That is good. Well, besides spears. I'm kind of looking at my, my screen. Crouch here. down plus right. Says. Oh! There you go. Oh, I can go up and d I can go down when I'm crouching too. Okay. Mmm. Going downtown and a lily around. Um. Sugar, we're going down swinging. What? What? 
No, I was just referencing Fallout Boy. <laughs> um, I despise Fallout Boy. They're one of the few bands that, like, I can just say that, like, when they come on the radio, I will change the station before I just sit through the song and endure it. I hate mm. them that much. That one where they go, You will remember me for centuries! I hate yeah, that song yeah. so much. I'd say anything that came out within, like, the last eight years is very bad. Fucking terrible. Well, they, uh, they went away for a while because they did one of those, oh, uh, we're, we're done making music, and then they did a reunion, and it, all oh! the music after it was really bad. Oh! Oh, that's rude. You can't just call someone old one. What do you need? This is very clearly a much younger man. What do you need, Master Alucard? You know, Tommy, I was in the Great War. Grandpa, how was how was Russian roulette? Did you win? I'm interested in this. What's I'm a, interested. A in jewel this. of open. Can open locked blue door. How much money have I got? Oh, holy shit! I can buy all this shit. Thank you. Give I mean, me. He only he only has one. Uh, that's what I want. Magic missile. <laughs> Fuck it. Give me. Uh, a Bwaka knife? Ooh, library card. Library card. You know, legend has it that having fun isn't hard when you've got one. A saber, a mace... Damascus sword, ooh. Damascus don't tell us. Oh, look, these things make my attack go up. Should I get one of these? Probably. Yeah, let's get one of these. Because it's, uh, it's a stronger weapon than what you have. Fuck it, man. Ooh, a velvet hat. Ooh. Do you like... Um, I, I, I want to know your opinion on this, Sim. Do you like the position that the old man's chair is in? It looks... It looks... It looks precarious, I'll tell you that. It's <laughs> just right over a bit. Yeah, he actually has a hole in the chair that he shits through. Oh, I can see... <laughs> and it falls see down into a chute. this. <laughs> it just... I'm interested in this. Oh, Dracula? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what happened? I think that. You bought something. I bought Dracula. Oh, you bought a flashback. Oh. Oh, I'm just watching it? I guess so, yeah. Oh. This is fun. <laughs> What is, what is happening right now? I do not remember this. What the fuck? Nick, what am I watching? You're watching an incredible flashback of Richter and Dracula. He dropped his cup! His cup runneth over. Oh, Kick his ass, the... Richter! Come on, Richter, you can do it. Wow, it was awesome. He did a backflip over them fireballs. Whoa, why didn't you do a backflip over them fireballs? Oh, Eric says these are basically boss strats. I don't want to watch these. Leave me alone. That's interesting that it gave you, like, a... a I mean, you already spent $200. May as well watch the whole thing. No, I'm not watching it. I'm interested. I can watch it for free now. Yeah. These are already bosses you fought. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in Bat. How do I fight Bat? I'm interested... In Merman. Merman. I'm interested in Ethel Merman. That's fun. It tells you how much HP they have. It's like a D and D monster now. compendium. Very well for, for now. Okay, bye, Grandpa. Did you buy the Did you buy the bat power? Wait, I can't buy bat power, can I? Did you not have enough? Hold on, I need to put on my new sword. Yeah. I don't know why, I just read Magic Missile as Naruto. Naruto? Um, uh, Magic Missile's a one-time use, so save that. Oh, is it one-time use? Okay, cool. Yeah. What's the library card do? I don't know, maybe find a library. You'll see. Well, I'm in a library now. Maybe find a different part of the library. 
Oh, is it a key where I can get into a different part, maybe? Uh, Shane is asking for a Sekiro tips while you're playing uh, Symphony of the Night. Uh, which one are you looking for, Shane? It depends on what you mean by the last one, because you can get them in kind of funny orders. Like, what ones do you have? God damn it. I'm getting my ass kicked. God damn book. Oh, the book only does one damage to me? Why is Kyle asking for donations? What do you need donations for, Kyle? Somebody give me donations. I need money. We all need money, Sam. Come on. Yeah, but I don't have a job. And then get one. I mean, I'd like to. Then do it. Let's let's role play an interview, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, um, hey. You you be you, and I got the fairy scroll. Hell yeah! Whoa, oh, those the... books are terrifying. <laughs> They're like books about weapons, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose. Okay, so um, where, where are you applying to right now? Let's let's like let's make up a scenario. Okay, I'm applying for a job to be a um, uh, the guy that at the grocery store who stocks all the shelves. Okay, so uh, a grocery clerk. Yeah, just the uh, the guy at the grocery store who stocks all okay. the shelves. Okay. So uh, you want to work here at Papa Roach Mart? I tell you, kid. How about you suck my dick, you fucking asshole? I'm the boss here, and you're fired. I'm, get I'm out! I'm sorry? I what? said get out! Well, I I just worked I here. I said get out! Okay. All right, now this is my grocery Check store, out. and I'm the boss. Hello, I'm the boss of this grocery store. I'm here to interview somebody. Oh, hello. My name is Samuel K. I'm here for the interview. Uh, one of my employees just left this room crying. Is there, uh, any reason what happened? Uh, yes, they no longer work here. I didn't fire them, though. What, what I made fired them, them. And, uh, but I'm gonna have to... I'm the boss. I'm gonna have you to pump the brakes there, uh, my friend, because I'm the boss. And... Are you... Is that insulting to me because I, I'm in a wheelchair? I think that you need to start calling me sir. Uh... I don't think I'll do that. Uh, the first word out of your mouth wasn't sir, so I didn't hear anything you just said. Hold on, I'm gonna look at your uh, resume right here. Uh -huh. uh, it looks like you wrote it on the back of an Applebee's menu uh -huh. in blood. Yeah. Uh, and it just says the word dog shit. Yep. Can you explain that to me? I don't think I have to explain myself to you or anybody, honestly. Okay. Uh, whose blood is this? Um, it's a difficult question to answer without implicating myself in several crimes. And as such, I won't answer that either. I plead the fifth. All right. Well, we are Papa Roach Bros. Uh, love crime, so welcome aboard. Hey, wonderful. I did it. Okay, you did it. Great job. That was your first interview. It was a success. Oh, and I'm, I'm the boss, right? Well, I, I don't know. I think you just got the job. I don't think I, you're the boss. I think I asserted my dominance pretty well, honestly. Like, mm, You didn't ask for the boss role. You just said you were the boss. Right. And yeah, he, hired yeah. you, he hired you for the position you applied for, which was grocery store clerk. Well, here's the thing. He's not there all the time. Okay. So when he's not, I'm the boss. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Okay. Now, when it comes to the show, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Oh, for sure, it was, uh, the lady, not Tony Danza at all. Oh, Angela? Yeah, Angela. Mm, that makes uh, sense. This is right Hey, this is the hall. <laughs> yeah, this is where that old man shits. <laughs> it just lands on- it just lands on brick floor. As the game progresses, the room fills more and more with shit. <laughs> with shit and piss. Just shit and piss. He's just so incontinent. Now, if you're able to, like, fly up that hole, can you <laughs> shoot up his ass? Just go right up his keister? Yeah, like, uh, oh, you're about to die. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna go in here and eat a poem. Or a potion. Eat a poem. 
Do I have? I don't have a potion. What's know. your favorite flavored poem? Uh, Emily Dickinson. Oh. Hey, well, if you her. die, I mean, maybe you'll get your money back at least. I bought cool shit though. Yeah, that's true. But you also bought a boss strategy you didn't need. <laughs> Good point. Ooh, All close right. one. This is my challenge run. I'm going to be going through the rest of the game with only one hit point. That way, I can't take any damage whatsoever. Okay. Do you have um, any um? Do you have any strats going into this? Do you have the um? Whoops. Do you have the firecracker, Shane? Do you have that one? <laughs> uh, there's the firecracker, the flame fin. <coughs> uh, there's the umbrella. You've got that one. Uh, I'm trying to think of what they all are. Uh, there's the axe. There's... Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Sabimaru is the short sword, isn't it? I'm trying to think. I don't fucking know. Does he have the illusion feather? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the illusion feather. Good call. Um, yeah, there's the illusion feather where, uh, you get, like, a little extra dodge when you use it. Or something. Um, do you have that one? I think you have to buy your items again, so... Yeah, I'm going. Well, now you can pick something else out. If you feel so inclined. Um... Mr. Raven Feather. Yeah, that's the one. The Mr. Raven. Man, I missed that Raven. That's so Raven. That's so Raven of you. What's your favorite part about that so Raven? Um, I've never seen an episode of it. Hmm. Okay, what can you imply based off what you've heard? Uh, I assume that That's So Raven is about Raven Simone. Mm-hmm. Disney Channel show? It is. <laughs> Eric, you rascal. Um, okay, so Raven Simone goes to high school in... Um, in the 90s, right? That's sure. That's when the show came out. Okay. Raven Simone loves going to high school in the 90s. Um, she has a bratty brother. Okay. Can you describe his personality a little more for me? Uh, like, what are his interests? What is he like? He, What's his name? His name is, um, Rudolph. Okay. But he just goes by Dolph. Okay, like, like Dolph Lundgren? Like Dolph Run Lundgren, exactly. Okay. And, um, his, uh, his favorite food is, um, cheese sandwiches. He loves a cheese sandwich. Not a grilled cheese, but just like... Just cheese on bread. Yeah, just like American cheese on bread. He's a very okay. simple man, and everybody kind of teases him for it. But then When you say man, how old is he? Uh, 41. Okay. <laughs> He's but he's old... a younger brother? Well, he's played by a young boy. Okay, but he's it's 41. A, it's, it's a Detective Conan situation. Okay. Uh... So he's a 41-year-old trapped in a boy's body? Yes, and he's incredibly good at solving mysteries. Wow, and he loves cheese sandwiches. And he okay. loves cheese sandwiches, and he's always playing tricks on people. That's kind of his, his thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what kind of tricks does he play? Like, go, what's your favorite trick he's ever played? They'll go, oh, you're so simple, Dolph. <laughs> that's you're that's his, that's you're uh, that's so what <laughs> simple and plain. Mm. That's what um, that's what Raven says to him, right? Yes, yeah, so she goes, you're so simple and plain, and he goes, I'll show her, and he puts itching powder in her clothes, and she itches all day. Damn, that's a pretty good plot for an episode. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, this happened in an episode. You're, you're speaking off of experience. Yeah, my favorite episode of the show was the one where he puts itching powder in Raven's clothes and she's itchy all day. It's true. And she, um, she, she goes, ooh, oh, how am I going to be able to pay attention in social studies when I've got all of this itchy clothes on? God, yeah, what was the point of social studies? Uh, to learn history is what I more or less mostly learned in 
<laughs> also, just... did you did you think it was a weird uh, director uh, directorial decision to just film the entirety of each of Raven's classes per episode? Yeah, every single class that she went to, every episode was about seven and a half hours long. <laughs> it was and, just a class and... she was in. The camera was focused only on her as she sat in class and paid attention and stuff. And it was all in real time. Yeah, it was all in real time. An um, entire season is half her day. Yeah. Wow. This is a good show. He put itching powder in her food. Damn. Her throat got itchy. Okay, I'm gonna buy the saber, I think. So anything with like use in parentheses means it's a one-time thing. One-time use thing, okay. Uh, go down for a second. Yeah. There was look at all these cloaks. That's fun. Um. Oh, I wish I knew about that. Oh. Select color. Oh, it's Joseph's Technicolor dream cloak. I get it. That's fun. Yeah, um, there was also that episode where he put itching powder in her food. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. castle map? That was actually the series finale because Raven dies in that episode. Yeah, it was really sad. She died in real life, too. Yeah. Wait, you just bought Zircon. Oh, oh you I sold, just sold it. One, yeah. Um, go back to the buy list real quick. Okay. Because there's like a spell thing he sells, and I want to know if you can afford it. What is it? Um, going down. Oh, no, never mind. It's just Magic Scroll 1. Um, I don't know if you need that. Well, I'll just remember where he's at. That's fair. Displays the enemy's name. Can open locked blue doors. The Jewel of Open. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's just uh, when you use it, any, any blood around you heals you a bit. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing that game. Uh, God, what's it called? The the one that's a spiritual successor. This bloodstained. Bloodstained, yeah. And there's an ability you get that lets you suck up blood. Whoa! Whoa! I just got a thousand for killing that book. Yeah, sometimes they drop a lot. Holy hey, shit! Another thousand, baby! You rich, Nick? I'm rich. What are you gonna do with two thousand dollars? Sam, if you had two thousand dollars right now, but you had five minutes to spend it, what would you spend it on? Oh, I'd just go online and buy a new computer. All right, but that, what if that takes more than five minutes? It wouldn't. Oh, okay, you just have it ready. Yeah, I just know what I want to buy. Like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? No, I was just curious. I mean, this is an easy answer, Nick. I'm not giving you two thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, can you give me five thousand then? If I had five thousand dollars to give anyone, yeah, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Nick, that'd be all my money. Nick, we're friends. Okay, what if you had ten thousand dollars but you only needed five? Would you give me the other five? No, I'd save that five. What if you found five million dollars? Would you give me five thousand? Here's my question. If you found five million dollars, would you give me five thousand? I'd give you seven. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, dude. That's what friends are for. But then all your friends would be asking for seven thousand. No, I'd give other friends more that I liked more than <laughs> <you. laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's fair, at least I got seven thousand. You have seven thousand dollars worth of friendship points to redeem when I when I make my fortune. <laughs> oh, they said they said the same thing to me at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about what my friendship is worth. It's the prizes at Dave and Buster's. I, I don't think you need to go this way, because there was nothing over here when you went last time. Yeah, you oh, went yeah. up a level though. Yeah, I'll take it. At least you can still use items on your curse, that's nice. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, why is oh. he doing nine? He was doing I know, he, one. I wanted to point that out before because he was doing more damage to you. What the fuck? See, that that was one damage. Oh, you're about no! to. No! I gotta <laughs> do all that again. 
Okay, here's a hot tip against those guys. Uh, Crouch. Oh, this game sucks, Nick. Mmm, uh, debatable. I hate it. Mmm, I think you just don't ass... like not being good at something. Look at this stupid ass, dumb ass dragon head. It's stupid. This game's stupid. How dare you? Stupid ass dragon ass head. Fucking stupid. You're... You're a stupid ass dragon ass head. I'm gonna come over there, Nick, and I'm gonna put itching powder don't in your come over here. I'm gonna put itching powder in your clothes and you're gonna be itchy all day long. No, I'll just feel about the same as I always do. Just always itchy. I'm just always itchy. I'm it's constantly shedding. It's allergy season, man. Oh. Okay, let's do that again, Nick. Mm-hmm. We're doing it. Let's do it right this time, Nick. Again, we're doing it live. Christ's sake. Have you seen, you seen any movies lately? Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about that. You tried to bring it up naturally, and then I yeah. just decided, oh, yeah, we said we'd talk about that before we started <laughs> recording. Remember when we talked about that, Nick? Oh, you, want, you wanted to talk about Okay, so I want you to tell me what you thought of the new Child's Play movie. Okay, wow, how did you know I saw <laughs> Did you see any good movies lately, Nikki? Yes. What movie? Wow! What a coincidence that you saw it's a movie so and I asked you this that question. This is very organic and real. This feels genuine. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were talking about it when you started streaming. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I saw the new Child's Play. It wasn't that bad. Uh, it wasn't really scary, but it, it wasn't bad. It, it was enjoyable. It was a fun movie. I liked it. As long as you go into the movie not expecting a child's play movie, like a Chucky movie. As long as you go into the movie not expecting it to be good. Well, no, that's not what I mean, because a lot of Chucky movies are bad. No, a um, lot of Chucky I... movies are really good, honestly. I like the but... Chucky movies. Like, even the bad ones are at least pretty interesting. Yeah. Man, you keep getting cursed, huh? Yeah, uh, these guys are hard. They got a weird movement pattern. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it was good. I I mean, like, you, you can't go in thinking the killer or whatever is going to be Chucky. They literally could have used any toy, and it would have been the same movie. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, it's not Chucky at all. Because I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with, like, the plot of this movie, but instead of it being a serial killer... Uh, possessing the doll. It's like this disgruntled uh, Viet uh, Vietnamese worker who um, <laughs> what? He, uh, he, he programs the microchip that goes into the doll to take off its like safety protocols for learning AI and all that and then he kills himself by jumping off the roof of the building. Ah. And then the doll just like learns but it like uh, it learns the wrong things and starts being evil and shit. That's so goofy. It is very goofy, but it's a lot of fun. I kind of love it. It was... I I genuinely would see that movie again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, if I wanted to see it, but now that you've said that it was at least watchable, I'll, uh, I'll probably there, check there it were, out. There were some moments that were, like, laugh out loud funny. Look, I saw them I went... doing this at SGDQ. I watched their run. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. A lot of Castlevania people do like the moonwalk thing. It's really strange. Uh, they do that in Zelda too, because walking backwards in Zelda is faster. Yeah, that's weird, huh? It's crazy. Just like real life. Yeah. You can just crouch and that'll miss you. Oh really? Yeah. It'll go over your head. Um, so I saw a movie this weekend. Yeah. And I kind of wish that we'd seen the new Child's Play because it was on the table. Mm -hmm. Like, as a, as a, uh, as an as option. An option. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what I want to see is that movie Ma oh, with Jesus. Octavia Spencer. Because I said, it looks right. like it's going to be like just a corny slasher movie, you know, where a bunch of teenagers die. And you're like, I really love the help. <laughs> so I did let's... like the help, actually. Like,. I thought The Help was a good movie. I don't know why you're saying that like it's No, no, that, I was just saying she was also in that. I'm not saying The Help was a bad movie. Stop implying what I said. I mean, 
I don't know how you feel about Octavia Spencer, but I think that she's a wonderful actor. I think she's actor. a she's a wonderful she is, she's a great actress. I just think it's weird that she's not really in anything anymore. Except this fucking horror movie. She was in Ma! Thank you. Alright, tell me about Ma. Okay, so I'm interested in this. Hold on, I need to Farewell for now. Alright, later. Um Hold on, I'm gonna equip my new stuff. I've gotta pay attention to what I'm doing in the game for just a second, Nick. I'm sorry. Who did you just say bye to? To the guy that I was talking to, the, the old oh, man. Oh, the old man. Yeah. Okay. I was being polite, Nick. You ever heard of it? No. Like, oh, I'm lecturing you on being polite <laughs> when I'm the meanest person in the room most of the time. <laughs> it's true. Um, oh, hell yeah, they're making another Dr. Doolittle movie. Hell yeah, with Eddie Murphy? Yeah, well, I went to Google, uh, or I went to IMDb to see what Octavia Spencer yeah. has been in recently. Ooh, uh, um, she was in The Shape is... of Water, too. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's an Oscar winner. Yeah, she which, won an Oscar the for the The shit help. she's been in is, like, this one thing called Car Dogs. Uh, another, uh, she was in Bad Santa 2. Yeah. A movie called The Shack, where she played Papa. Papa? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? A grieving man receives a mysterious personal invitation to meet with God at a place called The Shack. Maybe they mean Radio Shack? This movie sounds awesome, by the way. He's meeting with God? Yeah, at a shack. Also, Ma's name in the movie Ma is Sue Ann. It's not even Ma. Well, yeah, Ma is usually not... Nick. It would have been better if they never learned her real name. Nick. Do you think it would have been your, really interesting. Do you think your mom's real name is Mom? Is it, pretty sure it is. Um, do, and, and teachers all live at the school. <laughs> yeah, right. and they all they only have last names. <laughs> they only have last names. Um, no, so here's here's Ma basically, right? So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go through the plot with you. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give away the entire plot of Ma, right? Okay, spoil spoiler warning spoiler to anybody. Spoiler warning to anybody to who Ma. wants to see this dog shit movie. Okay, spoiler, it's dog shit. <laughs> it's not good. Um so I but it looked interesting. The trailer looked good. It looks mm -hmm. like um what's that movie uh that they keep remaking over and over again where like people, like, move into a new house and the neighbor's like, hey, how you doing? They made a version of it with Samuel L. Jackson several years ago. Remember? I have no idea what you're referring to. Uh, and he's you're like, gonna have to describe the movie further. He's like a bad, scary neighbor. I think the movie's just called The Bad, Scary Neighbor. That sounds right. And, uh... Wait, what? I'm gonna look. Did I start glowing for a second? I don't know. I didn't see it. Um... No, it's not like the burbs. It's like a psychological horror movie where, like, the neighbor is always like, Hey, you need to start watering your lawn more. And then, like, he comes out with a gun and he's like, You need to water your lawn! You're lowering my property value, you motherfucker! Uh, like, that okay, kind so of shit. The movie, the movie Samuel Jackson was in, I, I do remember this movie, it's called Lakeview Terrace. Yeah. Uh, and he plays a racist cop. Um, he's racist against white people, obviously. Uh, and he's against this interracial couple. That's, that's basically the plot of the movie. Oh, I got a javelin. Also, did you know Toy Story 3 came out in 2010? That seems like not very long ago at all. It it does the, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago that Toy Story three came out, but like it, apparently it's been that long, and that really upsets me. Oh man, bone muskets! I love these guys. Yeah, these guys are cool. They're cool. Anyway, go tell tell me more about Ma. Okay, so um, Juliette Lewis plays the mom in not Ma, but the mom in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. And right, right. Uh, she uh, moves back into her childhood hometown uh, with her with her 16 year old daughter Maggie. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, right. um, 
apparently, like, her marriage dissolved, and so they moved back home. And, like, the very first time that you see Juliette Lewis and her daughter, they're like, Ow! Oh, Medusa head. That's what they're like? Uh, so they're, like, they're in the bathroom together, like, early in the morning. They're, like, brushing their hair and brushing their teeth and, like, getting ready for the day. Uh-huh. <clears throat> fuck is this shit? Oh. What? What? Do you want me to tell you something you should do? What? I guess just walk out of the room now. Okay. Oh, You're wow. in... Another room. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I think I know where I'm at. Yeah! Uh, uh, don't gonna... die, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go up a the screen. There's a save point there. Yeah, don't let this guy fucking kill you, this little jabron. A cloth tunic. Good, Ooh. Good gosh. Good gosh. <clears throat> and so, like, they're in the bathroom and they're, like, cutting their hair. They're combing their hair and brushing their teeth, getting ready for the day. Right. And, and the mom's like, oh, boy, we've got so much to unpack. But I love you, my daughter. And the daughter's like, I love you, too, mom. And they kind of, like, have, like, a little, like, play fight. They're, like, splashing each other with water. Ah! As mothers and daughters often do. Right, they're just, like, playing around. It shows that, like, they've got this fun relationship where they tease each other and goof around and shit. Like, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then she goes to school, and then the, the kids all come up to her, and they're like, Hey, new kid, you want to hang out sometime? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, what? I'm... What? When, is, when has that ever happened? They're like, hey, I was... or So the, the girl that comes up to her is like, Oh, it's okay. I was new at this school last year, so I don't want you to be alone. They were being nice, right? I guess, yeah. And so she's like, oh, okay. Um, sorry, I'm going to a music festival with my mom. I wish I could help hang out with you this weekend. And then the mom's like, she goes home. And uh, the mom's like, hey, honey, I'm sorry. I got called in to work at my new job. And since I'm the new girl, I can't, like, I can't, uh, I can't you know, say no, because I want to leave a good first impression on him. And the girl's like, that's okay, Mom, I understand. Uh, I met some friends at school. I'm going to go hang out with my new school fr school friends. And she's like, oh, I'm making friends already. Good for you. Uh, so she goes to hang out with the friends, and they're like, we're going to get drunk and drive around, because there's nothing to do. Yes, it's going to be a scene-for-scene -scene synopsis. It's important. I'm setting up the, the beginning of the film, because this is important, right? This is this is a really good Let's Play commentary trick. <laughs> so, shut up, Nick. Nobody comes here to li watch me play a video game. They come here to t hear me talk about shit. They um, hear you to describe the entire movie. The entire plot to this movie. Uh, no, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to go through the important parts. I'm just setting up how they establish the movie. I don't know, this feels not that important to me. <laughs> it is important, you piece of shit. Cthulhu? That didn't look like Cthulhu. Yeah, he looks weird in this game. I, also, this isn't Cthulhu, this is Cthulhu. Uh, well, he's dead blue now. Didn't you tell me to run Damn. from him earlier? Well, yeah, because you were weak. Now I'm strong? Yeah, you're stronger. Well. You lost your holy water. We'll see about that. Oh, I got the throwing knife now. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, these things just keep respawning, so I'm just gonna run away from them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, they go to a liquor store, and they're like, Oh, we can't buy liquor because we're underage. And they're like, finally Ma walks by, and they're like, Hey! Hey, lady! You wanna buy us some beer? And she's like, Nah, keep walking. And then they make it a point that they show um, they show that she looks at this van that they're in, and it's for a local um, it's a local like security company, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, hmm, hmm. 
And, uh, so, Ma... Oh, God. And so Ma is like, fine, I'll, uh, I'll buy you the booze, right? And she, uh, she buys him the booze, and then they go and they get drunk, and then, so, like, whatever. Hold on. So they notice that she has a security van, and no, then she no. says, I'll buy you the booze? She notices the kids are driving the security van. Oh, okay. And so she's like, okay, I'll buy you the booze. And then she calls the dad, who owns the security company, and she's like, hey, are you the owner of the company, Mr. Henderson, or whatever it is? And he's like, yes, that's me, Mr. Henderson. Hello. And she goes, your son is out at the rock pile, drinking, underage. And he goes, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this? And she goes, just let him know a little birdie told you. <laughs> and so you think that Ma was like, I don't know, trying to fuck just with the kids. Ratting them out, yeah, I guess. Ratting them yeah. out. So the cops show up, and the cop is like, oh, hey, uh... Uh, you kids out here, um, I went to high school with your dad, and he was a fucking asshole. <laughs> so, so, give me, I'm gonna give you ten minutes to clean up all your shit, and then I'm gonna come back, and all this better be gone, because I'm not gonna arrest you just because your dad told me to. Like, and so, like, his motivation for letting the kids go was the guy's dad was a dick, so he doesn't want to fuck with the kid. And so, like, this is, like, the first time in the movie where, like, characters' motivations for doing something don't make any sense. And, huh. and and also a character just openly stating their motivation for doing something that doesn't make any sense. So... Okay. So the cops leave, the kids leave, and then they run into Ma again at the, the liquor store, and they're like, hey, buy us booze again. And she's like, okay... And, uh, they, like, are joking around with her, and she's joking around with them, and she's like, Oh, you know what? Tell you what, I feel bad giving you kids the booze and just having you leave. So, what we're gonna do is, um, why don't you just come to my house and get drunk? That way I at least know that you're someplace safe. And that's where the trouble begins, right? Oh, no, the trouble's beginning? Okay, right. go on. Um, so she's like, um... She she takes the kids into the basement, and, like, they all get drunk, and then uh, they're like, Ma, do you have any food for us? And she's like, Haha, yes I do, here you go. And she cooks them some pizza rolls. And then she comes downstairs, oh. and for some reason, one of the kids, like, they're not drunk or high or anything yet, so it's not like he's, like, going wild on alcohol, just decides to start, like, threatening her. And so he gets up in her face, and he's just like, that's... So, Ma, you think you're real fucking cool, huh? And she goes, what? she goes, you want to see something cool? And she takes a gun, like, out of nowhere, she just, like, materializes this handgun and points it at him. She what? makes him strip naked, and then right. she's just like, <laughs> like, looking him up and down, you know, this teenage boy, and she's like a 45-year-old woman. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, she's like, Haha, just kidding, put your clothes back on. And they're like, Mom, you're crazy! Ha ha ha! And everybody's yeah. cool. Everybody's cool with it. And then, like, the kid's putting his clothes back on. And he's like, You really got me there, Ma, by pointing a handgun at me and threatening to murder me and then committing sexual assault on me. Like, <laughs> and so, like, they all go back to school. And there's this scene where, like, the main character, Maggie, right, is walking down the hallway, and there's a girl in a wheelchair, right? Like, an electric mm -hmm. wheelchair. And uh, right. the girl in the wheelchair is like, hey, can you can you help me? And the main character is like, oh, yeah, sure, what's the matter? And she goes, uh, I, I didn't leave my wheelchair on to charge enough last night, my electric wheelchair. And it doesn't have enough juice to make it up this little ramp here in the school. And Maggie's like, oh, okay, no problem, I'll help you. And um, the girl in the wheelchair is like, thank you so much, that was really nice, have a good day. Oh, hey. Oh? Elevator activated! Nick, I did it! You did it!
Anyway. So that happens, right? The little girl in the right. wheelchair. And she's just at okay. school. Helps the girl in the wheelchair. Working. Her wheelchair okay. didn't stop working. Just didn't have enough juice to get up the little ramp. Because yeah, you got the solo wolf. What does that do? You can check. Transform into a wolf. Yeah. What do I press to wolf? Um, oh shit! Yeah. Rah, rough, rough. Hell yeah! You're a wolf now. Ah. Um, I don't really know how this is beneficial, but <laughs> right, I don't right. remember. Uh, so that's what I said. I was just like, so she's just like, yeah, I don't have enough. I don't have enough power in my wheelchair to get to the top of this ramp, and so they move her to the top of the ramp, and then she just takes off like it's the rest of her day. She's just like, okay, bye. And mm -hmm. and so, <laughs> what what does this do for me? Um, I think you can move fast. I think you can run. So, like, dub double dash forward. Oh, or don't. Hold on. Oh, I can! Yeah, so you can use it to get around faster. Ah. Hey, you could probably make that jump with it, honestly. You think? Yeah, you just gotta get back first, and then... Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I didn't hit jump on at the right time. Mm. Hang on, I'm gonna get it, Nick. So anyway, uh, they start partying at Ma's house all the time, right? And Ma's always like dancing, and she's like playing Funky Town and the safety dance and shit. And all these kids are like, "Ah, oh, yeah, Ma's the coolest. She, she fucking rules." And then like all the kids are always getting drunk, and so like. The next day at school, uh, one of their friends comes up. Uh, her name was um, Adina. And Adina comes up and she's just like, Oh, look at my new bracelet. My boyfriend Charlotte got it for me. It's our five-month anniversary. Mm. And, um... Alright, I, I wouldn't even bother with this right now. Just keep moving. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, long story short, like, Ma starts acting kind of oh. creepy. <laughs> now, now it's gonna be a long story yeah. short. Ma starts acting kind of creepy, like, like, um, the, uh, like, one of the girls says, Ma, you need a man. And so, like, she's just like, I need a man, you best watch your mouth, motherfucker. And then like, she's like, oh, I was just joking around, Ma. And, uh, they go upstairs in Ma's house, and Ma told them never go upstairs. And they go pee-pee upstairs in the bathroom. And Ma finds him, and she's like, What the fuck are you doing in my fucking house? Just screams at him, and she goes crazy. And the mm -hmm. kids are like, we don't, We're not going to hang out at Ma's anymore. She's fucking weird. Yeah, that was really what set them off. Not that being pointed out with a gun or anything. But... Or, yeah, or sexually harassed and told to strip down nude at gunpoint. Yeah, no, that was fine, but it, the yelling at me, oh, no. Right, yeah, she yelled at him, and that's too scary. And so, right. I can't make that jump, Nick. Yeah. But I wanted to go up there. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know where to go, so I'm just kind of walking around. Okay, so they leave Ma's house. So they leave Ma's house, and, um... Just go down. One of the, uh, one of the girls, uh, sends a text message out to everybody, including Ma, for some reason. That's like, hey, Ma's a total freak. Let's not hang out with her anymore, because she's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Fucking dipshit. And Ma's like, hey, So Ma loses it because she got the text, the group text. Even though she's a grown woman. Okay. Oh, it's the man in the ocean. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I, I know, I just wanted to see him again. Okay. So Ma's like, ah! And so she like, sends him like 400 messages and she's like i don't know why you guys are mad at me i'm sorry and uh, like thousands of messages and they're like oh my god ma's fucking crazy and finally she sends him like a snapchat where it's just a video you know and she's mm -hmm. just like crying and she's like listen i know that you guys are mad at me for some reason i don't know why but I really need to talk to somebody right now. I have some bad news, and I, I, I don't think I should be alone right now. 
And so she's like, can you meet me, like, someplace public and we'll talk about this? And they're like, okay, well, let's go see what she wants. And she's like, I've got cancer. I've got brain cancer. Wow. And so uh, they notice... Dying. They notice, Nick, yeah. that she has that girl's bracelet she got from her boyfriend on her wrist. Wait a minute. And so they're like... They're like, oh, okay. Uh, so Ma's been stealing from us. And like, oh, earlier in the movie, they drugged the main character, Ma did, and she woke up in her bed, and the only thing that happened was her earrings were missing. And uh, they see Ma wearing her earrings, too, later in the movie. Um, mm -hmm. But like, they realize that Ma's been stealing from them while they're drunk. And so um, the one of the main character's best friend goes goes, that fucking bitch, I can't believe it, she stole my mom's ring, I better go find it. And then they break into Ma's house and they go upstairs and there's a big cage upstairs, right? Mm hmm And like, but the cage isn't locked. Like, there, there's a cage that goes all the way across the stairway and there's like a, a sliding bolt on it, but you can just easily reach through the bars and unlock the bolt and there's no padlock on it or anything. And they find, like, all the yearbooks cut up, and it's all the kids' parents in these yearbooks. And they find her, Ma, in the yearbook, right? And she's like, oh, this is so creepy. Ma's so creepy. She's obsessed with our parents. Ah! And oh. then they turn around, and there's somebody wearing a spooky mask in the room! Ah! Whoa, what and kind of mask? It was, like, um, it was, like, one of those, like, African tribal masks that has, like, dreadlocks oh, attached to it. That's just racist, Sam. But it was a scary-looking mask. Like, it had, like, mouth open and big eyes. Ah! Like, it was supposed right. to, like, be an angry face, you know? Like, and they go, ah! And then, who should take off the mask but the little girl in the wheelchair? Whoa! And, and by little girl, I mean she's, like, 16, 17. Like... And she goes, oh. she goes, what are you doing in my mom's bedroom? Ah. And Why here's the, you were in the fucking mess? Right. But here's the thing, Nick. She's not really in a wheelchair. She can walk just fine. That Ooh. bitch ma was lying to us. And so she's like, my ma says that I shouldn't walk around because it'll just make me sicker. So ma's got like one of those Munchausen by proxy kids, right? Um, yeah. And uh, the girls are like, Hey, uh, don't tell your mom that we were in here. And the little girl goes, yeah, that's okay. Just don't tell her you saw me walking around outside of my wheelchair. And they leave. Uh, so right. th then, like, as they leave, they make it a point to show that the girl can reach through the bars and set the bolt on the cage by herself. <laughs> so, like, it's not like they, they, they were showing that, like, she's locked up there or anything. And also, she's a Munchausen's by proxy kid who's, like, secretly not needing to be in a wheelchair. But she also occasionally will go to school. And oh. also, nobody knows that Ma had a daughter or that Ma was her mom. And so, like... And keep who's in mind... dad and the girl? They don't know. She Ma mentions that she was married and they got divorced. Do you think the kid might have been kidnapped? No. Because there's nothing indicating that in the script, you know? Okay. And so, like, what happens is... Hold on, where was that room that I just was in that I hit that switch in? That was, uh, up above you. Yeah, I was looking for where the switch might have activated something, because it just rumbled for a second. Uh, but anyway, um... Oh, uh, the main character was kind of, like, dating one of the boys in their little group of friends... Mm -hmm. And um, she's like, I never want you to go to Ma's ever again. And he's like, okay. And so they leave. But Ma's like, did you move one of the little kitty cats in here? And uh, it's like a kitty cat, like, figurine sitting on a uh, on a table, you know. And the little girl's like, no, I didn't. Ah! <sighs> Mom! <sighs> okay. And, okay, so... Uh, Ma has a job. She works at the vet clinic, right? Sure. And randomly, one of the uh, the kid's dads walks in there, and he's like, Hey, uh, Sue Ann, I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, I brought my cat in to get his shots. 
And Ma's like, oh, what a cute cat. And he goes, we should catch up. And she goes, yeah, we should. And so they decide to meet at a bar later that night, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Meanwhile, um, we start getting flashbacks from Ma when she was in school. And this kid's dad was, like, kind of bullying her. And he's just like, oh, I think you're really hot, Sue Ann. I, I want you to meet me in this closet after uh, after school. And I want you to suck on my ding-dong. And she's like, oh, what a gentleman. So she goes to meet him. And then um, there's this part where, um, where, like, it's in the dark. And he's like, just come over here, Sue Ann. And she comes over there. And then she, like, gets down on her knees. And she sucks his dick. And then, like, he steps out of the closet, and then, like, okay, uh, all the kids are out there, including the kid whose dick she thought she was sucking, but she was actually sucking just some other kid's dick. Like, but, like, it wasn't like, you know, she, they, like, tricked her into fucking the janitor or something. It was just some other guy, you know? So it was, it was humiliating, but it wasn't like, like, you know, why didn't he just, like, you know... She sucks his dick, and then he's like, Haha, you fucking hog, I hate you, I'm the bully. But she goes nuts. And I, I mean, granted, they did something terrible to her, right? Like, that's horrible. Sure. But, like, so that's why she's gone nuts. And she goes to meet the dad at this bar, and uh, he's like, I'll have a whiskey, neat. And then he's, like, talking to her, and he's like, Boy, oh boy, Sue Ann, it sure has been a long old time since we saw each other. She goes, yeah, it is. And he goes, by the way, you know what this is? And he pulls this black box out, and he goes... It's a vehicle tracker, and I've got it on my van, and my son borrows my van all the time, and I know he's hanging out at your house, so stay the fuck away from my kid, you fucking freak. And, uh, she goes, oh, no! And, uh... That's a weird way to build up to that. Why didn't he just walk out to his car when he was at the vet office and then bring it back in? Or, yeah, why didn't he just, at the vet office, hey, I know my kid's been going to your house... Go fuck yourself, you fucking freak. Stay away from my son. Yeah, why invite her all the way out to a bar just to say that? Right, right, exactly. So, um, she goes okay. fucking bonkers, right? And she kills her She kills her boss at the, the vet clinic. And she, um, she starts showing up at the kids' houses and like, Hey, remember me from high school? It's me, Susan, Sue Ann. And like, she's like giving the kids all like mean looks and stuff. And she runs mm -hmm. over a lady, and then she... Oh, wait, what? She just runs over a lady? Oh, she runs over one of the people she went to high school with. Why did you just skim that over? <laughs> well, that's her first kill in the movie, other than her boss. Okay. So, like, she kills her boss, she runs Why'd over... Why'd she kill her boss? Because her boss was kind of mean to her sometimes. And also they were trying to be like, oh no, she's crazy now. Okay. And so... So she runs over this lady, uh, and then she throws a party that night and invites all the original kids back, and she's just like, Oh, I thought it'd be fun to get the old gang back together. Everybody come come visit me at Ma's house. And uh, she sends a, a Snapchat to the main character, and she's like, Look who's here! And it's her boyfriend, you know? Right. And uh, she's like, Ah, I gotta go save him from Ma! She's going crazy! She's scary! So she goes there. Ma has poisoned everyone for, with drugs from the veterinary clinic. And everybody starts passing out. And then uh, the dad shows up. And he's like, I followed my son's truck here. What the fuck are you doing here with my son, you crazy bitch? And she's like, yeah! And she stabs him in the neck with a, with a syringe. And he falls asleep. And then she wakes up. Or, or he wakes up, rather, in the, uh, in the, tied up to the bed in Ma's room. And, sure. um, and she, and she's got him hooked up to an IV full of dog's blood. Okay. And she's like, and she's like, if you're gonna act like a dog, then I'm gonna make you into a dog. And he's like, no, let me go, Sue Ann, I didn't mean anything by it. I, I'm sorry, Suzanne, I... I guess they needed to explain that she had dog blood somehow. Yeah, right. But then she she uh, starts administering the dog blood into his veins, and then she cuts his opposite wrist and he bleeds to death. Then she goes back down into the basement where everybody's, like, knocked out, 
and she's got them all wearing like dog collars around their necks. Okay. <clears throat> and she uh, she just pulls up the shirt of one of the guys, and she's just like, "Look at this guy's hot little body." <laughs> <laughs> and then she burns him with an, like an iron, like you use for your clothes. Okay. It's kind of randomly. She's just like burn him with this iron here. Do do do. Uh, and then she uh, goes over to the main character's best friend character, and she's just like, maybe now she'll finally keep her mouth shut. And she um, she sews this girl's mouth shut. Mm-hmm. And then there was one of the kids was a black kid. And right. She, and she goes, looks like there's only room for one of us here. And then she paints the black kid's face white with, like, house paint. Okay. But- <laughs> Okay. I feel like you're skimming over the really important stuff here. No, I'm not. This all just fucking happens. Like, she doesn't give a real reason for any of this shit. She just does it. She just does it, yes. And, I mean, mean, the reason is she she was tortured as a child by these people's parents, I guess, ostensibly, right? Sure. Um, So, uh, she's, she's finally, like... Uh, okay, it's time to pose for the picture, everybody. And she takes all the kids, uh, like, drags them over to a couch, and she decides to take a group photo with them while they're all knocked out and tortured and shit. Uh Uh-huh. And the main character, she has, like, a, uh, uh, she has a gun, or, like, Ma has a gun, and she's just like, (laughs) And... She's she's just like, come on, take the picture, I'll shoot you. And she gets a few photos of her with these tortured, unconscious kids. And then um, she starts trying to hang um, the main character by her dog collar. And she's, going, ah, ah, ah. she's choking and shit, right? And and then she, she hears a noise from upstairs. And um, the little girl in the wheelchair is there, right? Yeah. And she's just like, Mom, I'm not going to let you hurt these people. They're my friends. She's like, they're not your friends. They're just like the people that tortured me. And then uh, the little girl runs upstairs and she's like, you get back here. And she ties off the rope that she's hanging the main character from. And then uh, the girl in the wheelchair is on the other side of the door with a frying pan and hits Ma in the head with the frying pan. And Ma falls down the stairs. And then Uh all the kids just start waking up around this point. And, oh, when Moth falls down the stairs, she knocks over a candle and it starts a big fire, right? Of course, as, you know, gasoline-covered houses often do. Right, it instantly starts a fire on the concrete floor of this basement, yes. Okay. And, and so, uh... It's uh, all that dog's blood. It's very flammable. Very flammable dog's blood. And, uh, so, like, all the kids wake up and they start trying to get out through the cellar door, but it's locked... And it's locked even though, like, Ma just came down the stairs from the main house. And, like, the door's unlocked and shit. Yeah. And so finally, like, the main character's mom figures out that, like, oh, she's at Ma's house, I gotta go rescue her. She unlocks the cellar door and all the kids come upstairs. And Ma grabs the- wakes up and grabs the girl in the wheelchair. And she's like, come back here or I'll fucking kill her! And they're like, no, don't kill your daughter! And so the main character... <laughs> I like that they just left her in there to begin with. Yeah, right, exactly. I got no killer. <laughs> but, like, so Ma, like, she's like, I'll fucking kill her. And they're like, leave her alone. And uh, she's like, no, I'll kill her. And they're like, no, please don't. Anyway. And then they say that five more times, okay. It just goes back and forth and back and forth. And, um... The, uh, the main character just picks up a knife and runs at Ma and stabs her. Cause that... Where did she get a knife? It was on the floor. Okay. D- d- don't ask these questions, Nick. You know, because you don't want, you're not going to like the answer. Because the answer was, it was just I mean, there. I just, I want an answer. I don't, I don't have to necessarily like it. I the, just want it. The, the answer was, there was a knife there. So yeah. She, like, they, they didn't set up the knife, really. Like, I think Ma had the knife, like earlier and was menacing people with it and shit oh no she stabbed one of the kids she stabbed one of the kids so like all right all of them got um all of them got like for a second check your map yeah check your map oh i can go Uh, this way yeah go left 
Oh, I think there was a blue door there. There was. Axe uh, is good, uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the axe, I'm fine. Finally! Oh, I'm gonna go save really quick in the room that's just below here. Okay, good idea. I'm taking that. Anyway, so she stabs Ma. She stabs Ma, and Ma's like, ah! And she she doesn't fall down or anything. She just lets go of the girl that was in the wheelchair, and um, kind of like she, Ma kind of like walks away, and all the kids run up the stairs, and they're outside in the yard, and they're watching the house burn. And um, his first try and completed the Guardian Eight boss in the span of this summary. I'm not giving a summary. I'm giving a synopsis, Shane. And so, um, what happens is, um, they all go upstairs, and then Ma goes upstairs to where, like, the guy that she stabbed is. I he's still up there. Or she cut his wrist and filled him full of dog's blood, and he's dead, right? And she, uh -huh. she lays her head down on his chest and cuddles up to him, and then the, she it shows the bed catching fire and stuff. Oh, wait, hold on, so cutscene. we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. It's Ma. As friendly as ever, I see. Maria. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. Uh huh. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll oh, do well. my best. Good luck. Mwah. She gave me a kiss Mwah. when she walked by. Did you hear that? No, that that's non-consensual. No, Alucard kind of tilted his cheek up to her. He likes boys. Um, the Royal Chapel. We're going to the chapel. To the chapel. And we're gonna get married. Anyway, she lays down her head, <laughs> a bone pillar. Yeah. Bone pillar. Uh, she lays her head down on this guy's chest. The house is consumed in flame. And, uh, end of movie. And okay. None of these actions that I've described to you, for fuck's sake. Just jump over it. Bye. Bye. So, okay, so, you you said while I was doing this, like, I think, I feel like you're skipping over some important parts. And, like, well, like, you started touching on things that sounded interesting, and then you just skimmed over them, and it was like, all right. But the, here's the thing, the movie does that too. Like, okay. shit just happens in this movie, and aside from, like, Ma being crazy, they don't really give you much of a reason for any of it happening. Okay. And it's it's like this weird breakneck pace the whole movie to just like like you feel how, how long is the movie? Yeah, uh, it's only 90 minutes or so. It's it's an it's an okay. average length movie. It's not very sh long. But it was about as like long as my summary of longer. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like your summary was longer than the movie. But like absolutely none of the action in the movie is in any way like justified or like explained mm. it just kind of happens and everybody makes stupid decisions but they don't give them good reasons why they make stupid decisions so do any of the kids die none of them die but their parents do yes whoa i thought that was going to be a cool sword that i could pick up no no oh, that's wrong a, that's a bad sword who's going to kill you uh, I don't have any potions you or anything. You didn't buy any potions. Uh, that would be excellent, Eric, if I, if I, if this was not what the movie was like and I did make all of that up. But no, that is what the movie is like. I want to see it again because I kind of loved it, but it was fucking terrible. And you're out. There, that was easy. Oof. Uh, broadsword. Is that better than my current sword? Let's look. Ooh, a little. Um, but yeah, I watched this movie and I was just kind of mystified by it because it was so, like, haphazardly put together. 
Ooh, and I want to know. I want to know who pitched the movie. Uh, it was the guy who, believe it or not, directed the Help. Wait. Are he, you serious? He enjoyed working with Octavia Spencer, and they became friends while they were f filming the movie. Now, now I just feel like you're fucking with me. Oh no, that's true. Oh my god, you're right. Yep, I told you. I looked it up. What? It's fucking crazy, right? And so. <laughs> what the shit? This just went from like zero to a hundred. What the? Uh, yeah. No, no, it was the a guy bad. Who directed like Oscar-winning movie, The Help? Yeah. Made the movie Ma. Made the movie Ma. And he was friends with Octavia Spencer, but she was, like, talking about to him, like, Oh, I'm just kind of tired of playing, like, the matronly wise older black woman. And he was like, hey, how about we make a horror movie together? She was like, oh, okay, cool, I'd love that. I mean, it's a good idea in theory, but... <laughs> but, like... Jesus. <laughs> okay, now here's the worst part. They are probably no, going part. to make a Ma too. You think so? Okay, the budget for Ma was five million dollars. That's it. it Wait, made... only five million? Holy shit! It, it made fifty-two million worldwide. It had a oh. more than ten percent return on, in... or ten times return on investment. They must have had to not had to, like pay Octavia or something. Like who that. knows? Jesus Christ, it's such a small budget. It's an incredibly small budget. Like, I imagine all of it went to paying Octavia Spencer. You should go up the left side. Is there a left side to go up? Yeah. Okay, I'm here. I think that's about it. Yeah, um, I was already over here, bitch. Is, uh, I, I didn't look. Um... Yeah, wow. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, apparently, apparently Child's Play uh, did well in the box office, so, you know, maybe that'll get a sequel, which I'd be okay with, honestly. Uh, they're doing, um, I know Don Mancini is still making his Child's yeah, Play it's, movies. He's doing it's a TV weird. show now. It's so weird, because the Child's Play movie, if I can talk about the movie I saw now for two hours. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the, the fucking, the Child's Play movie I saw. Oh, Nick. It, it, Hey, it Nick. didn't need to be about Chucky. What? Nick, I'm sorry. Um, that's all the time mm -hmm. we have for tonight. I've got to go. Oh, uh, okay. Well, bye, everyone. Right, bye. See ya. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so, so, there's references to the original Child's Play movie in the movie. Yeah. But, and there's, like, horror movie references. Like, it's a fun movie. Um, and there's, like, one part that honestly made me laugh really fucking hard. But, I don't know. It just... It, it didn't have anything to do with the original Child's Play, and people were so upset about a remake, but it's, like, nothing like the original. And Chucky doesn't look like Chucky other than the red hair and the clothes or whatever. Yeah. But it's... it's it's I don't know. You'd have to see it. I don't want to spoil it. it. It's very interesting what they did with it. I will probably end up seeing it when it comes out on... Whoops! Video. My, my only complaint... My only, like, glaring complaint in the movie is that there weren't enough glory kills yeah i think the the first kill in the movie is the best kill in the movie and that's really it part of the fun of child's play is just how fucking brutal chucky is and like yeah, but just the, 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 the vicious and creative ways in which he kills somebody well th like, this is interesting because it it's about like a doll learning how to be vicious and evil like it just picks up on things by watching people Okay. And movies and shit. Um, and I, I don't like that. There, there's a part where they watch, uh, they watch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. <laughs> but I, I don't want to say any more than that. But it's it's like, oh, okay, that's clever, I guess. Um, but it's it's good. I liked it. I liked the movie. I genuinely liked it. And I mean, they are making a Child's Play series. Yeah, I want to see and, that more more so than this, because I really, like, I, I don't consider any of the Chucky movies to be bad, necessarily. There are ones that I like more than others. Like, I think Seed of Chucky is kind of a stinker when it comes to the series. 
Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'd say my least favorite of them is probably the third one. Child's Play 3, where Andy's in the yeah. military or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that's probably my least favorite. Uh, yeah, I don't remember much about that one. I only, I was really into that one when I saw it as a kid. I've watched 1 and 2, both, like, within the last, you know, 3 or 4 or 5 years, you know? 1 like, was, like, the only Chucky movie that was really trying to be scary. Whoa, look at this. Woo! I'm just doggy sliding all the way down to the bottom. Doggy style down the stairs, baby. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I've always really liked the Child's Play movies. When I was a kid, I used to watch the movies. And for some reason, I called Chucky Chucky Baby. Ooh. I don't know why. But, um... I really liked him as a kid because I thought Chucky was funny. Yeah. I mean, he is funny. I I like that Brad Dorf's daughter is going to be basically the new Chucky. <coughs> oh, is that something that's happening? Well, in the in the last movie. Did you see uh did oh, you see the um, last two? Um, like Cult of Chucky Cult of and Chucky. Is that a gun? I think so. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, Nick, where do I need to go? Because this is a dead end for me. Just look at your map. Okay. And look at any places you tried to go to before, but you couldn't go for whatever reason. Uh, well, up here is no go. Uh, on the bottom left corner, <coughs> it looks like there's an area upwards, like in the um, ending. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, there's an area down, uh, kind of to the right of the middle. <coughs> That I could go down into? Bye! Bye! Here comes the dog! The dog's great. Or the wolf, I guess. Bye! Oh. See ya! Whoa, what? How come I flash every now and then, Nick? What is that? I think it's just you recovering from damage. Yeah, like that's that's just the damage animation. <coughs> no, not that flashing. I don't know then. Well. Um That was the quickest way to get back down those stairs. But yeah, like, uh, I really liked, I didn't like, um, Cult of Chucky as much, but I did like Curse of Chucky, the one where they're in, like, the haunted house. Well, I like Curse of Chucky because they fake you out and they try to make you think it's a reboot. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's just Chucky. Yeah. It's just Chucky and he's like, I'm in the house. And... Yeah, <laughs> but it, I, I really like that that's Brad Dorf's daughter. Uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be interested to see where, uh... Where they go with the old child's play? I got the old child's play. Oh, it's your, it's my magic meter fully refilling, says Eric. Okay. Check it out. I put on both of my cool rings. Ooh. Um, I I would go back up. Why? Because there's, there's places you can get to here. You just need to keep an eye of an eye. Okay. Yeah, just, like, look around the area and see if you can get to any spots. Well, there are all these places up above me, but I don't think I can jump that high. Like, up here? Yeah, no, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Because just... okay. those are just pots, like... Alright, I'm going up, Nick. Okie dokie. Alright. Okay. Here I go. I'm doing it again. Ow. Look, it's Jesus. There he is. On his knees. Typical Jesus. The Savior. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been going to the movies a lot lately. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I, 
There's nothing really going on. No, not that I can hey! recall. Hey, you got up there. <laughs> um, That's a speedrun tactic there. I do I do want to see Midsummer when it comes out next yeah, week. Yeah, that looks wonderful. Yeah, uh, I think it comes out on Monday. I've seen the uh, the trailer for it. Uh, it played at the last couple of movies I went to, actually. Mm. Um, I saw John Wick 3, and I saw... Nice. Um... Uh, uh, ma. Oh. Okay, so there's that area up there. Oh. Shoot, dude. I'm leaving. Bye. Um, now notice how next to the puppet sword there were some stairs. There are? Yeah, those... Those circular staircases right there. The spiral stairs. Oh, are these stairs? Oh. Yes. Oh, I couldn't I didn't I didn't register those in my mind as stairs. <laughs> <laughs> they just looked like fancy little like decorations on the edge of the church. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I don't think I can make that jump. No, no, you can't get there yet, but the other the stairs... The other side. I'll go look. Excuse me. Oops! Should have turned into the little dog. This game you sucks, ever... Nick. You ever hear of Ed Savitz? Ed Savitz? No, I don't think so. Um, Ed Savitz was an actuary in, like... I think he was mostly prolific in like the eighties and seventies. Like an actuary, like a like for an insurance company. Yeah, he he made he had a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I, I don't even know if I should get into Ed Savitz. Because <laughs> he's a uh, he's a very disturbing individual. Oh wait, uh, wait, wait! Was he the uh, was he the pedophile? Yes. And he did the the videos that are on the dark web, like. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, go ahead with him, and maybe I'll know who you're talking about. Um, he would, like, pay kids around Philadelphia. They called him Fast Eddie. Like, he would pay, like, young men and boys to, uh, do sexual things with him. Oh, yeah, and he's shitting pizza boxes? Yeah, he had them shitting pizza boxes, and he would, like, keep the- he kept them in, like, a shipping container. Yeah, I knew about it. <laughs> and him. I just- I can't help but picture, uh, like, one of those, um... Oh, what, are, what are those shows called? Like the reality shows where they're they're hunting for uh, the shipping wars or whatever they're called, <laughs> uh, and, and they're bidding on one of the storage lockers, and someone wins, and they open the storage locker, and it's filled with pizza boxes filled with shit it's and used boys underwear. Shit, <laughs> children's shit is pizza boxes. <laughs> that would be devastating to find. Like, but you know, but you know they would open it. And they're like, hold on, let me check this out. All right, uh, tally that up. I'm gonna give up fifty six dollars. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can sell these pizza boxes. Uh, make a profit. I can sell this children's underwear for for a couple hundred <laughs> bucks. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at about fifty grand here. That's a uh, that's an awful thing to talk about, Nick. <laughs> Uh, you guys, can you think of any more movies you'd like for me to talk about for an hour and a half where I just describe oh the God. plot? Please don't. But you'd rather talk about a pedophile who had children shit in a pizza box. Well, I just want you to know what fucking level of suffering I just went through. <laughs> having I mean, to listen to that whole description of Ma. Oh, God. Uh, you know, I've never seen The Burbs. Is that the, uh, the Tom Hanks movie? That's the Tom movie? Hanks movie, yeah. yeah. Where his neighbors, he thinks they're serial killers. Or, like, monsters, or whatever. It's pretty, it's pretty weird. Okay. That's gonna be, that's gonna be $1,500 worth of doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> That's fifteen hundred dollars worth of doo doo right there. You know, to the I've right. I got a guy now. Like, 
Pawn Stars. So he walks in with a pizza box full of shit. Full of shit. And, and they're like, this is an Eddie, this is an Ed Savage original. And and Rick is just he says, I've got a guy, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this dude like, oh, wait, 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 let me just whip this. Yep, that's genuine pizza. <laughs> He's like, nope, this is a pizza box you brought in and shit in while you're out in the parking lot. Oh, this is no, hold deal. on a second. That's not boys' shit. This is just a man's <laughs> shit. This is man shit. You can tell because it's all it's made out of hungry man meals. Not hungry boy meals. No, which is lunch. Uh, what is it? Kid cuisine. Kid cuisine with the penguin on it. Yeah. Uh, Kid Cuisine, where you had to eat up your brownie. <laughs> or no, the pudding. That's what was fucking gross about it. You had to, like, make a warm pudding. Ugh, I don't know about pudding. I've never had yeah, no, there, pudding in it. There, Kid Cuisine usually comes with pudding. I thought it usually came with, uh, like, a brownie or, like, a cherry cobbler or something. No, more of them come with a pudding, which is fucking weird. I think they just didn't want to put the extra ingredient to make it a brownie, so they just made it pudding. So you just have this fucking microwaved warm pudding <laughs> in a dish. I don't know if that's true, man. No, that's a that is a thing. I I, I, I was raised on kid cuisine. Trust me. <laughs> I was raised in the kid cuisine factory. I you made the pudding. You were merely raised on kid cuisine. I was I was born molded by it. <laughs> molded by the kid cuisine. Here's what I think my best bet's gonna be, is to lure it over here. Yeah, and... no run. Go, go, go. Here we go. I got through right. that fairly painlessly. I mean, aside from the dying two times, but yeah. I died more than two. Okay, fair. <laughs> I, I was trying to make you feel better. I wasn't trying hey. to uh, defend hey, myself hey, hey, there. I died more than two times. Hey, 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 hey. Let's be fair here. I died more okay, than so two times. Okay, so the chicken, uh, not chicken, the Kid Cuisine uh, chicken nugget meal comes with macaroni, yep. corn, and pudding with a cookie spoon. Pudding with a cookie spoon. That's interesting. Yes. Here's another one that's chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. fries, or no, it's popcorn chicken, sorry, pop star popcorn chicken, uh, fries, uh, corn, and pudding. Now, what's interesting about this box I'm looking at, it says uh, you could win a splashtastic sleepover at Nickelodeon Suites Resort. I thought Nickelodeon Resort's closed down. Uh, Universal Studios is still hosting Nickelodeon thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, like... Nick Studios isn't really. Are you serious? Anymore. I have to fight just a regular ass fucking crow. Well, you just draw him towards you. Use those Dark Soul strats. See, this is where the axe is good because you, if you angle it, you can just take out the crow real easy. Oh, are those guys infinite? I guess. Yeah, they're just gonna keep flying by. Oh no! It's hunting girl! Yeah. She was a pushover. Alright, uh, so you need to get a certain power to get through there. I figured. But it... Whoops. Whoops. Whoa! Whoops. Really? I guarantee if I threw a heavy steel axe at a crow in real life, it would kill it in one hit. Guaranteed. Jump on that bell. There you go. There we go. Whew. I'm getting the hang of this. Look at that, I leveled up, Nick! Hooray! You proud of me? As long as you don't die. Oh shit, what's the Bible do again? Oh yeah. It's a, it's an AoE thingy. 
not that good. Um, I like the axe more personally. Well, maybe I think the axe the one, the, the axe does more damage. Um, yeah, just keep going up. You gotta be careful because uh, save points are very hard to come by here. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Mm-hmm. I know. Well, I'm just gonna do all that again, Nick. Okay. Okay. You good with that? And I've never been good in my life. Um. <laughs> who was the guy that was like insanely rich and uh he had Daddy the Warbuck. Elon Musk yeah Elon Musk was the one Jeff Bezos yeah Jeff Bezos he was the guy okay what did Jeff Bezos do um he killed kids on live streams wait what yeah this was a thing that happened on like the dark web and, like, this is, like, I've not one of those, like... I've never been on the dark web either. But I, like, listen to true crime podcasts and shit. How do you get on the dark web? What website? Uh, you gotta download a Tor browser. I know that much. I, uh, I know somebody who buys weed off the dark web. Because... Okay, I, g I googled this just to check. Yeah. Uh, this might be something different, but... Facebook under pressure after man live streams killing of his daughter. Distressing oh. footage of murder of 11-month-old in Thailand was accessible to Facebook users for approximately 24 hours before being taken down. Oh no, this was uh, a different thing. It was a pedophile ring, but they also liked killing kids. Uh, and the guy's in jail for, like, fucking ever, right? And he's in an Australian prison, but I think he was American. I think that, I probably like, shouldn't be Googling this. This is gonna get me in jail. Yeah, I think he's in Australian prison, and, like, they interviewed him, and he's just like, Yeah, I, uh, I did what I did, because I liked doing it. And he's, like, absolutely zero remorse for viciously killing these kids. Huh. I found a 20-year-old, 21-year-old who confessed last year to plotting, uh, to kill and eat an underage girl. So, um, alright. On the dark web. A friend of yours? I don't know. Sam, I don't have friends. I guess that's true. Come on. <laughs> AOL keyword dark web. I'm gonna see I'm gonna check the Neopet forums. Maybe they know how to get to the dark web. Man, how do you attack this thing? I guess you have to use items, huh? You can hit its swords. You just you know, keep a range, keep a distance. Whoa! See you're destroying the swords around it. Pretty neat, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, but this isn't killing it, though. It's just taking away some of its attacks. Well, I've almost died just fucking around killing the sword. Castlevania's a tough game. It is a hard game. You're at 5 HP. I'll be fine. What will he do next? I just found some hearts. That doesn't heal you. I know. What does these days, right? Potions? I don't have any, so... Okay. Potions in this economy? I don't think so. Potions in this economy? It's more likely than you think. Economy? Oh. Oh. Threw your axe behind you and then you die. Well, we're just gonna do that again. <laughs> if you Holy go. moly. I'm not good at this game. I'm liking it, though. It's not an easy game. Uh, I've got a feeling that I'm going to get the hang of it eventually. Says me, the master of every game ever. Yeah. I regret, uh, I've been playing Bloodstain, and I regret not doing hard mode to start off. Is it too easy? Because, well, it started off kind of difficult, like any of those games do, but once I got in the swing of it, everything I'm killing immediately, like I've killed so many bosses absurdly quick with just, uh, you pick up, monster abilities as you progress through the game just randomly like they'll drop them sometimes and i got this power and you can level up the powers you get from monsters so i've just been leveling up this arrow power i picked up and right now i think it fires like four arrows at a time and each arrow does uh 30 damage or something like that which is a lot in that game <laughs> so i just kill bosses immediately because it barely uses any mana <laughs> Uh, I finally got 
to a boss that I actually like took some effort to beat. And I beat her with just, I want to say, 4 HP left or something like that. <laughs> so I felt pretty good about that. I mean, is that how much HP do you have in that game? Like a thousand? No, no, it's it's like this. It's only like a hundred or something. Um, but she was cool because her second form, uh, she comes out of a, a bathtub filled with blood. And in her second form, she sucks up more blood in the room so she can heal herself. Uh, and she just heals like over a thousand points of HP or something like that. And she attacks you with blood and everything. It's pretty rad. It sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, it's 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 a really cool animatic. I mean, the game froze on me a couple times here and there, but I, I like it a lot. Just run to the ro oh god! Turn into a dog and get out of there. Honestly, as a dog, you can just slide under him and then jump up here. Uh oh, run! I'm fine. You don't even need to jump to that left stair. You can just jump up and to the right. Oh, yeah? Because you jump just high enough to reach that. Wait, I didn't mean to turn into a... Uh... <laughs> the knockback takes a while to get used to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, like, another thing is, like, when you go back to, uh... to an older video game and you've played games similar to it, they've learned from the mistakes of those past games. And I feel like part of the struggle I'm having is that I'm playing an old game that is using mechanics that newer games don't. Do you know what I mean? I suppose. Like, the jumps feel a little floaty in this. And, I mean, I'm not going to blame my... Well, you are, you are a, a person who's able to turn into a wolf. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Like... Just up, up attack. That just throws or, my axe. Up, upright attack, I guess. Um, I don't have hunting an girl. Attack. That just throws oh, never the mind. thing. I, I guess it's only downward at angles. Yeah. Sam, I think those are doorways. Your doorways. That's fucked up, dude. What are doorways? I don't know. Eric said they think that they're doorways. What's I don't think doorways. doorways. I don't think they're doorways. You don't? Just go, go up to the right. You know where to go. You just climb up that bell again. You're the bell of the ball. He doesn't know. Oh, down lower. Down but lower. No, fuck, fuck that. No, just go up. Why? Because it's better. Now you can get that thing to the right. Ooh, there like you go. Light. up. Yeah. And a strong potion. And something up there. It's a neti pot. So you can clean out your sinuses. It looks like a sports bra. A silver plate. Put on your sports bra. You're a young lady. You're blossoming. Oh, is it plate mail? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll put on my new bra. Put on my new bra. Hooray. Alright, that's good. Now you can go down. Okay, I want to go see if that's a doorway that Eric was talking about. Okay. What? You... I mean, this I, is I think, I th yeah, I, I think this, yeah, all right. No, you do you. Yeah, I want to do what I'm doing. I'm playing the game, Nick. I'm playing the game. That's what I do, baby. I'll just have to stream more Bloodstain tomorrow night, because I want to play more of it. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm probably not going to watch too much of you playing it, though, Nick, because I, I kind of want to play it eventually. And That's I don't want to get spoiled. That's fair. I mean... The only thing that be spoiled are boss designs. Okay, Eric, tell me where this doorway is, you fucking cad. Whoa, I hope it's down at least this low. I think he was talking about the outside. So the the way these levels are designed, it's kind of like a bisect. Yeah. So just like a building cut down the middle. So certain right. things will look like doorways and shit, but it's it's just the interior like design of the building. Yeah, I can't get in here. Yeah, you can't you can't get into those. And I walked over here, and I think this is just... Yeah, there's... Oh, this is a doorway. Yeah, but you, you can't move that yet. How do you know? Because ah! you can't. Ah! Oh, maybe my shield will do it. Ah! Wow. Look, look, Nick, I'm cutting his penis off. There's a little gold man holding you back. Look, I'm cutting his just penis like off. Like... Nick, he doesn't look. have a penis. Not anymore, I cut it off. 
That's true. Um. Yeah, that, Eric, you were right. That was a doorway. I just can't do anything in there. So thanks for making me go all the way back, Eric. Eric, how dare you? Eric, you if I see uh, if I see a crow. Yeah, but you, it's, it was a waste of time because you can't go through that doorway, Eric. Eric, you empty-headed fucking buffoon. You know what I'd like to do to you, Eric? You buffoony and cheese. Hey, you're this, just you're just like Raven's up. brother who only eats cheese sandwiches. You fucking buffoon. <laughs> you fucking cheese-eating buffoon. Fucking. Richard or whatever the shit his name was. He always comes in and he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, Hey, Raven, got any cheese? <laughs> I love that line. Uh, and then, then her cop dad comes in and says, You're under arrest yes. for crime. And then shoots him dead. I'm so sick of your shit, he says. I, I like how after about, like, the second season, or maybe like halfway through the second season, they just decided, you know what, the show's about Steve Urkel now. Yeah, they were like, uh, Urkel's the one that's getting us all the money here, I think. No, Let's get the axe. It. Yeah, I got the axe. I went all back. Good. Yeah, save your hearts. Uh, you could probably go down here. Yeah? I mean, you could go up too, but you can also go down. I think. If you press down and a... Or wait, no, not here, never mind. I was thinking of a different place. Um, oh, no, your axe! I got you, it. You had, a, you had a hand for a second there. I don't even know what the fuck that does. That's salt, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. For your french fries. Yeah, it's when, when, when Alucard's like, I really wish I had the french fries. I want more sodium in my food! When they say more sodium in my food. Please give me more sodium. The doctor says I have kidney stone. I am starving. I want more sodium in my food. I am dying. Please let me die. More sodium. I just sound like Super Dave. <laughs> yeah. Larry! Look at this guy. Ball. A it's hippo like griff. Ow! Just throw axes at him. Fuck off! Can't hit you from there. You're fine. No. Well, I've got to get in there and hit him because I don't have. Wait, no. I've got a strong potion. Oh, temporarily raises strength. Well. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got this Just throw, throw a spear at him, fuck it. <laughs> fuck off! Oh nope. That went real far. Yeah, I expected it to have more of a more of an arc. The oh, wait, story no, of that spear was that. cut short. What if it was like a what if it was like a broadsword, like how construction workers in the in the fifties would call them broads? Ooh, look at that broad! Uh, yeah. Hey, check out the check out the sword on that broad. There you go. You figured it out. No! Get out of there. To the no! other side. Quick. No! Fuck! Oof. Shit bird, no! Uh -huh. Run! Run, you <coughs> silly little man. This bird's like, look at my awesome painting! It is pretty rare. <laughs> It's skeletons, but they're demons! I am guiding my deviant art page. I love this painting! Ah! Ah! You're gonna wreck it! Get out of here! Oh no, you died. I did. Um, now... 
Now what you're gonna want to do is uh, so you can you can pick up that max life again. Yeah. So that's gonna be back because you didn't save after getting it. Because I mean you couldn't. Yeah. Um. So you can just go back. Okay, I'm just going back. Hey, I mean, you know. Thanks for the tip, Nick. Hey, you died hmm. in this video game. Why don't you go try to do what killed you again? No, I was saying get the life, the max life again. Yeah. So you don't forget it. I'll never forget. I didn't say I didn't say rush into the hippogriff. Nine I mean, eleven. Nine eleven. My only comp. Nine eleven. No, never forget. Oh shit! I always Symphony. I always accidentally use those because I'm using the joystick. Mm-hmm. Then you're just attacking. Yeah, D-pad's the way to go. Suppose so. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Here's what I'm gonna do, Nick. Yes. I'm filling this up. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go. Nick, are you scared of God? I'm not scared of what's not real. Whoa. Got him. Hey, Ricky Gervais, could you get off this 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 Discord call? Hey, you're the one who brought up God. Yeah, I wanted to talk about religion with my friend. I didn't think that I was going to be fucking... Okay, are you scared of God? Terrified, man. What's the scariest part about God to you? God is a vengeful and jealous God. He doesn't like it when you when you worship something above him. I thought you were a Satanist. No, I'm not. Where did you get that idea, Nick? Every time we've streamed together, Ricky Gervais. <laughs> no, Ricky Gervais is a stupid atheist. He's not cool like me, where he worships the fucking devil. You don't even actually go to any religious things for it. You just say you're a Satanist. Yeah, the cool thing about Satanism... So you're technically, you're technically an agnostic. The kick-ass thing about Satanism is, they don't have meetings. You just do whatever you want. They do have meetings. I'm not going to them. Yeah, but they have them. Fuck going to meetings, man. Okay, you agnostic. I'm not agnostic, man. You're, no, you're agnostic. <laughs> what do you mean? You're an agnostic sata Satanist. No, I'm... I'm a Satanist. Agnost. I mean... <laughs> go through that door on the right. Yeah. Okay. Next time, just go through the door on the right. It'll reset the puppet sword's position, sure and then that? you can go up there. Yes. Next time. Next time when? So, so run up. Yeah. When you run up to the puppet sword, slide under him. Slide under down, him. Yeah. Down A. Hold on. Get to the Hold other on. side. Go through the door. Hold and on. then walk back through the door again. Hold on a second, Nick. I need to get a pen before you say all this. Okay. 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 I mean, we could do it in real time. Nah, I'm... Hold on. Let me grab my pen. Okay. Okay. Okay, what do I do first? Okay, so when you get through the door to where the sword puppet master thing is. Sword master uh, thing is. It's called puppet master, I think. It's but um puppet master. Hold on, let me get an eraser. Okay. Okay, I erase the sword thing and I wrote puppet master. Okay, go ahead. I mean, I, I, you know my class only lets you use pens, but that's fine, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um so when you get to him, you slide underneath. Mm -hmm. Slide underneath with go. down an A. Down A. I don't have yeah. that move yet, but okay. No, you you've got a you've got a slide move, or just turn into the fucking wolf. Yeah, there's my slide move, Nick. Down an A. Right, hold on. Why don't you have a slide move? I don't have one. Okay, well, just turn into the wolf when you get in there, and just run underneath them. What wolf? The one that you turn into sometimes. What color is it? It's like a purple blue. Yeah, well, you would say that. Because it is. I mean, it, it helps your argument, so you would say that, yes. Yes. Oh, I got a good argument. <laughs> You're trying to Ben Shapiro debate me? It's not going to work. Yeah, anyway, I think we should build... I, you know, if your house is on fire, just sell your house. Just sell your house. Easy. What makes you think you wouldn't just sell your house if it's on fire? You're fucking stupid. Yeah, really. Who needs a stupid liberal why, snowflakes? Why would you keep a house that's on fire anyway? I'm Ben Shapiro. 
I wonder what Ben Shapiro was like in high school. Probably exactly the same, honestly. Yeah, he doesn't seem like the kind of person who's in, in, experienced much personal growth in his life. <laughs> do, do you, like, physically or mentally, do you think uh, he went to, like, one of those... Um, yeah, so just go to that door on the right. Can't open the doors, Turn back dog. into a person. Okay. Dogs, Dogs can't open doors. Dogs All right, now you can go up. Doors. I'd rather not. Jump to the right. You don't have to jump to the left. Why? Hold on. Jump up and to the right. Oh my god. What are you talking about? Jump, jump up. Yeah, I can't make that jump. I gotta jump over here. Yeah, and then when you're on that one, jump to up to the right. No. No, you don't really have to jump that high from this one though, Nick. You just you'll you'll hit that you'll hit the top thing. You will almost fall off. That's not what I'm saying. What do you mean? So the one below it, that that third one, the Did... fourth one up. One, two, three, four. Jump to the Jump right. Jump up and yeah, to the I right. Yeah, I can't make up. it. What? Why? Yeah, I can't make it. It just doesn't let me. Oh, uh, maybe there's a blockade there. No, That's I, weird. I wasn't pressing the jump button. Down oh, below. you're an asshole. Right? <laughs> I knew I could do it the whole time, Nick. That's okay. I don't. I don't have to play with you. I'll just leave. Nick, I just don't like being told what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you die like 12 times, that's when I want to give you advice. Uh, I see. Oh, so the reason I've been dying is because I haven't been doing that jump? Is that it? Well, no, that's not the reason you've been dying. I just want to give you advice. It's hard for me to just sit here in silence and say we're not really talking about anything. Well, we're talking about, we're talking about, like... I listened to you talk about Ma for an hour. I mean, if you don't want to be here, you can leave, Nick. I'm not... Okay, goodbye then. I'm going to go see Ma now in theaters. Yeah, go ahead. Octavia this Spencer stream... is excellent in it. This stream brought to you by Ma. Who's your favorite actor in Ma besides Octavia Spencer? Um, Juliette Lewis is in it, and I like Juliette Lewis. Do you think it's a sequel to What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Is Juliette Lewis in What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah, have you not seen What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, I haven't seen it since I was a teenager. Yeah, she's the she's the girl in the RV that Johnny Depp falls in love with. Aww. Yeah, she has like really short hair. Uh, do you remember? Uh, my cousin looks a lot like Juliette Lewis. Do you remember that? I literally don't know your cousin, so no. Her name's Shannon. She looks like Juliette Lewis. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I would remember that. Why? Have you brought Have you brought up your cousin before? I've mentioned her before. Yeah, I'm really I'm really close friends with my family, and I talk about him a lot on here. I don't think I've ever mentioned that my cousin looks like Juliette Lewis. But do I remember if she does look like Julia Lewis? Well, yeah. Was we... that a baby crow? That's sad. Yeah, that was a blue crow, I think, was what it said it was. Well, that's so sad. Little baby blue crow. Save all your axes. Yeah, I am. They're very good against the hippie. Wait, I don't want to change my cape. I want to change cloth cape. Wait, Ben Shapiro, so he isn't in high school? Hmm. Ben Shapiro is an adult man. I know that he looks like a child. And oh, sounds like a child. Is he in his 20s? Uh, he might oh, he's be. he's 35. Yeah, Holy I was going to say, he's probably older than us. Wow. Yeah, he's got Benjamin Button disease, though. Uh, he has a book called Bullies that came out in 2013. Yeah, uh, what is it about? Colin. Colon, how the left's culture of fear and intimidation silence um, silences America. Yeah. I feel like he wasn't selling books, and because of Trump's presidency, people found out who he was, and people started reviewing his books after the fact. Oh, yeah, for sure. I want to read some of these books. Uh, um, Donald Trump becoming president has been, like, the best thing to happen to dumbass chodes from high school ever. Like, uh, this this review of the book says, "Good book. Take gun control and shove it up your ass." Yeah. Written same. by anonymous. Hell yeah. Uh, this book makes some of the strongest arguments against the left. Must buy for those who live by reason. Me too. I live by reason. Uh, ben Shapiro is amazing. Is he? Well, that's what it says. Uh, hello, no Nook Paraders. This is a protest against bullies. If you hate bullies, write the here. Yeah? What? 
Okay. I hate bullies. 48 pages of work cited. How can you call this a rant if there are so many pages of work cited? Samuel Govertz, a.k.a. the Defender of the Constitution. I wish I was called that. What? What are these? Oh, this, this review is just one star. It says, dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the review he, reads. He laid dumb. an egg. Yeah, he has a baby. I I smashed the egg. Smash that motherfucking egg button. Oh, spooky dog. Uh oh. I'm gonna try throwing that javelin at him again. Okay. I just wanna see how much damage it does, right? Javelin! Whoa, not bad. 58. It's a one time use. I wish I had my javelin back. If only. You got a boomerang. So That's the, a one time use, so though. Boomerang at him. But it's an anti aerial weapon, so pretty cool. Fuck you! Oh, that did pretty good. It was like... Yeah, it did like 238. 70, 76 damage or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, I killed him! Yay! He's dead. Sorry, sucker. Woo! Oh, hey, man. look who it is. You're very it's a me, Maria. No, here's the thing. Did she? She walked the other way when you ran into her, but somehow she ended up over here. Yeah. And also past the boss. Of the Belmont clan. Oh, she's talking about Belmont. Oh, look at him. <laughs> That's fun. He's thinking about it. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. Mm. So you do know how to be a gentleman. Okay, bye, Maria. Oh, oh how awkward. I'm going that way too. So, mm. would you want to own that painting? Uh, the one with the skeletons? Yeah, it's cool as shit, man. Pretty fucking rad. Uh, my friend Danielle just spent like three hundred dollars on a statue of Alucard. Holy shit! Yeah. A little card from Castlevania? She broke it while I was over there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's really upsetting. She, she dropped his uh, sword hand and his hand broke in half and she's got to stick it oh. back together. Um, Jesus. But anyway, that's probably a good place to end it for tonight. I think so. I think you, you beat a boss. That's really where it ends. Yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. Are we reading Bible reviews again to this way? Uh, no, we're not. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Look at this. I'm a smooth criminal. I'm doing Michael Jackson dances and shit. Ooh. Burn, burn it. Wait. Uh, well, I don't, I don't want to put on Michael Jackson music or you might get flagged for copyright. Uh, he's, a, he's a filthy man. That's true. Also that. Look wow, this. um... This is my... This is as fast as I can go. Look at him. No, 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 no! Turn it 